stick to the end because there's a great giveaway for you. So check that out at the end of the video. No skipping ahead. We're out here at the Chino Airport at the Yanks Air Museum and we got the 82nd Airborne with us. We're going to get on the C-47. We're going to do some great shots of them as if they're parachuting out. We'll have smoke coming in the airplane. We're going to set about three lights to make this happen using the sun. We're going to cross our color balance. We're going to shoot tungsten, but let that sunlight go blue in the background. One of the things we're going to use today is a tilt shift lens, which is a great piece of equipment because it's going to allow me to shift my focus from the person in the front to the person to the very back, or I can shift my focus the opposite way and just keep the person up front in focus and let everything fall way out. So let's play with this tilt shift. Let's see what it does. Let's break this down. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. You know, before we break into the lighting lesson, let's talk about how the tilt shift lens works and how we can use it as a creative tool for our shot today. I have a 45 millimeter 2.8 tilt shift lens. I like the focal length because it gives me a great focus effect and I can use it in small spaces without distortion when I'm shooting people. So it's more of a normal lens with people. There are other tilt shift lenses out there, but this one is really a safe choice. I love the 90 millimeter, but it's long and that focus effect is very dramatic, but it's very cool looking. There's also wider angle lenses, a 24 and a 17, but those, again, the wider angle lenses, they don't show the effect quite as much because they're more wide angle. I think the 45 is a pretty good choice. If I stand straight onto my subject and point my camera straight at the subject, then the background is just gonna fall out of focus equal on each side. It's a normal look for a lens. If I swing my lens to the right, the subject and the left side of the background will come into focus, and the right side of the foreground will fall out of focus. Here's an example in this close-up image. The subject and the front nose of the airplane are in focus as we swing the lens to the right. When I swing the lens to the left, my subject and the right side of the background will be in focus. We see the left side of the background is very out of focus and the right side over his shoulder is sharper. This is based on the fact that we have to move the focus back to our subject each time we swing the lens. So we swing the lens, refocus on our subject, and it'll get this effect. Here are some of the images that represent this principle. In these shots, the lens is only swinging right or left. It's not tilting up or down. Let's now look at tilting the lens up and down. On the side of the lens, you can rotate the lens 90 degrees, and now the swing from right to left becomes an up and down tilt. Let's take a look at some images of all in her Dickens dress to see how this look works for portraits. Again, if I stand straight onto my subject and point my camera straight at the subject, then the background will fall out of focus equally on both sides. The lens is not tilted. As I tilt the lens up, the background above her head will go out of focus, and the background below her will come in focus. Now as I tilt the lens down, the background behind and above Allah's head is going to be in focus. Let's see how we apply this principle in our shoot today. We're going to sit up inside the C-47 with the 82nd Airborne. The door will be open, we'll direct smoke to flow into the door from the Roscoe 1700. We're not going to fight the sunlight, but we're going to set our color balance to tungsten and let that sunlight go blue and let it stream in the windows in the door. I'll be shooting at 200th of a second, shutter speed, and f5.0. The ISO is set at 160. This is going to allow us to shoot strobes inside the airplane and balance them with the sunlight streaming through the door. I can crush that sunlight just enough to be able to make the strobes work with it. We'll be using Dynelite strobes today to light our scene. Here's our first shot set on tungsten with just the sunlight coming through the door. We will now add an octodome bouncing into a 39 inch light panel. The soft light of the box even becomes softer as we bounce the light out of the reflector. The area is very tight and space is a consideration. We are able to push the reflector against the wall of the airplane and keep the octodome out of the way as we bounce it into the reflector onto our subject. Here's a shot with the soft key light. The light is just behind the talent so it lets the shadow fall towards the camera and looks like the light is coming from the door. We now added a Dynalite travel head shooting through two layers of diffusion material that we taped into the airplane doorway. This becomes a nice fill light to open up the shadows. The Roscoe Smoker created a look of clouds out the door and hid the fact that we were sitting on the ground. The tilt swing lens was swung to the right, making the background out of focus on the right hand side. The door is very out of focus. The other soldiers are pretty much out of focus because the left side of my focal plane goes out of the airplane and doesn't land on any subject matter. With the lens swung to the right, I can walk the focus along the row of men and only focus on a single person at a time. It makes this a very selective process to isolate each individual. I love the way the focus with this lens can single out an individual person and let everything else fall way out of focus around them. It's a great look. 
We finished the shot off with a few shots of the door using natural light coming through the door. I moved the color balance back to daylight and allowed the sun to just stream into the plane through the smoke. The lens is swung to the right and the two on the right are in focus. Here the lens is swung to the left and the man on the right is out of focus. This keeps the emphasis on the man at the door. We had a great time at Yanks Air Museum in Chino, California. They were wonderful to us and allowed us to come and shoot there. We really want to thank them. It was great to work with them. Also the 82nd Airborne, the guys who came, who work out at the Yanks Air Museum at Chino, they were also there. They were a great support. We really appreciate them as well. So it was a great shoot. I do love the tilt swing lenses. There are, however, a few things to consider. It's hard to focus and it takes a lot of concentration. The auto features don't work. Autofocus does not work and getting exposure is a bit tough. It's best to set the exposure when the lens is not swung and keep the exposure as you swing or tilt. They work great for so many applications. I see them a lot being used for weddings and portraits. They give you such a great look. They're a bit expensive, but are a great rental from a place like Lens Pro to Go. Lens Pro to Go will send one of these out to you, it's very reasonable. You can get it for your shoot and then send it right back. We'll go ahead and keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. We're offering a free download that was put together by our team, Adelaide Lauren and Hector Olgin. It's sponsored by Squarespace, but it's a great free download on how to design your web page, your landing page, so it'll bring people in and convert them into clients. It's called the seven steps to a landing page that sells. So go to the sign of lens forward slash the number seven steps and download this free download. It really is a great download that will teach you the things you need to do to set up a web page that shows your great photography, but converts the people that come there into clients that want to hire you. It's the seven steps to a landing page that sells. Free download sponsored by Squarespace. Check it out on the Sign of Lens forward slash seven steps. Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Sign of Lens product review, we're going to talk about Spider Holster's single camera belt system. I've used this for now over a year and a half. I love the system. It's great because on the bottom of your camera, you've got a great plate. It screws onto the camera. That pin allows you to just simply drop this into the groove. It falls with the lens away from you so that the camera is sticking out, the lens is back. Just a very convenient place to get it. It's easy to pull it up to go into shoot mode, drop it right back down when you don't need it any longer. It does have a clip here. You can push that clip down so that it won't come out, but it's locked into place. Or if you're gonna be going in and out, in and out, you can click it up like this, which allows it to come in and out quickly. Or when you push it all the way down, now all you have to do is push it down Pull it up like that and it lets it come out but it locks back into place when it comes up. So just an easy system to go in and out. I usually use it in this mode here where I'm locked and then I just kind of push it up as I pull it out but then I know it's locked back into place when I go and I don't have to worry about it coming back out. On the belt also I have a 200 millimeter pouch which is really a great system. It's got a rain cover for it. You can detach the rain cover if you're not going to be using it and just let it sit with the velcro on the back and rolling it up and getting it out of the way or you can completely take it off if you want to just get it out of your way and I'm going to set it aside for just right now. In this system, I love it, you've got a zip pocket, allows it to expose your 200 millimeter lens. There's a lens cap that has a Velcro piece on it so that you can take your lens cap on and off and you don't lose it. And you just leave that fall to the side. Now what I do is I just flip the camera up like this. So my camera is up, makes it easy for me to take this lens off. Pull this lens out, drop this one in. And then I simply drop this one on top. Flip it back around and I'm ready to go with the 200 millimeter lens. I can now cap this back off here. Zip it up and I can go back to shooting. Now with my 200 millimeter lens. You know, you get faster at making that change after you use this quite a bit, but it just gives you a, a decent place so your lens is not, you can have to sit it down on the ground and search for it. The cap is always there because it's on the Velcro. This makes it easy to switch this back and forth. So I find this a very successful system for using, and I think it's something you really enjoy using. If you're doing weddings and things, this is a great piece of equipment because you can have a single or a double camera set up. So you can go back and forth with two different lenses on your hip. You don't have them banging around. I mean, obviously they're at your hip and you gotta watch them as you hit on things, but it's not as kind of cumbersome as on straps as they kind of fly around as you're moving that. I find this really nice. They're contained, they're held tight to your body, and I, I just know where they're at. It's much easier to use. So check it out, it's called the Spider Holster Pro uh, Belt System. It's got a little thing called the Spider Monkey also that it has on the side of uh, both the pouch and I've got a couple on my belt here. But those are so you can put a piece of equipment, a piece of Velcro goes on your equipment, it just snaps on there, you can use it for light meters or you can use it for a small flash. 
just a great way to haul just a few extra things on your belt, take it on and off using that spider monkey system. This has been JP Morgan for the Slant Lens product review, so keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. Hey, have you gone to theslantlens.com to sign up for all your free gear that we're giving away? Who cares about gear anyway? There's spider holster equipment, there's Photoflex equipment, there's stuff from Squarespace, and there's some great stuff from Lens Pro to go, so get over there. I'm heading there right now. Make sure you subscribe to the Slant of Lens. Seriously, you're still sitting there? You haven't subscribed yet? Oh, come on. Hit the button. Subscribe.